Mike Pence, Donald Trump's VP pick, had an epic disaster of a start to his political career. This is amazing. So Washington Post reports on this. Campaign finance records from the 1990 effort showed that Pence, then 31 years old, had been using political donations to pay the mortgage on his house, his personal credit card bill, groceries, and here's my favorite, golf tournament fees, and car payments for his wife. The spending had not been illegal at the time, but it stunned voters and undermined Pence's strategy to portray the incumbent representative Philip R. Sharp as tainted by donations from special interest political action committees. Okay, see, this is why this Trump probably picked this guy. He's like, oh, he's like me. Trump has built his whole campaign, the whole primary, everything. Ah, puppets, they're bought by the donors, this person, that person. And I give him credit for using that rhetoric because it raises attention for the biggest problem in American politics, which is money in politics, which affects all other issues. So I give him credit for the rhetoric, to be clear. But he is a liar. <laughs> he is raising big money. Now, a lot of big money donors hate him, and they don't know if they can control him, so they haven't been donating to him. But he does take big money donors. Uh, he, in fact, he takes money directly from one billionaire who was funding Jeb Bush's campaign, and Trump had ripped Jeb Bush for taking money from that guy, and he called him a puppet of that guy. Now that guy is leading Trump's fundraising efforts, and he's like, well, no, what are you talking about? There's no problem. There's no problem. So, Trump is raising big money as he says, oh, the big money's the problem. They, you know, what are you talking about? That's the big issue. This guy was doing the same thing, so he's ripping his opponent as tainted by special interest donations. Meanwhile, this jackass is raising money, getting political donations, and using it on personal shit. I'm gonna pay my mortgage, I'm gonna pay for golf cor golf fees, I'm gonna, you know, uh, do payments for my wife, car payments for my wife, pay for groceries, and I love how they said it wasn't illegal at the time. I mean, this isn't the fucking Stone Age, what are you talking about? That's insanity. Like, usually the political corruption works where when you get in office, you do favors for the people who gave you the campaign contributions. This guy just took the money and put it in his bank account. <laughs> That's definitely illegal, especially because if you, if you tell people, hey, I want your political donations, I'm running for X, Y, or Z, it's fraud if you don't spend it on X, Y, or Z. You can't say, oh, I'm going to use this for my campaign, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're playing 18 holes at Pebble Beach in California. So you can't do that, but they're like, no, it was technically illegal. I mean, I'm sorry, technically legal. <laughs> what the fuck is that about? So, guys, make no mistake about it. Like, we just, I just did a segment ripping Hillary Clinton for being a hypocrite on money and politics and pretending like she wants to get money out of politics, but the amendment doesn't do that. It just adds transparency so we know who's buying our elections. So I despise Hillary on this front. Don't think the Republicans are any better. They're not. I mean, they've been the biggest beneficiaries of money in politics this whole time. I have this little saying I use where, I don't know if it's a saying, but <laughs> I say Republicans are 100% corrupt and Democrats are like 80% corrupt. Yeah, I still think that's largely true. Hillary Clinton might be on the more corrupt spectrum of the Democrats, uh, but as a general rule, the Republican Party, they're more corrupt. They are a, an, an arm of corporate America. That's it. Their whole thing is to represent corporate America and every once in a while throw some crazy draconian... Christian, conservative, social policy shit out there. That's it. So, and Mike Pence is a great example of that, man. You know, he doesn't believe in climate change, doesn't believe in evolution, was a cigarette truther, he didn't think smoking kills. Just a stupid person. And look at how, what, the first time he ran, this is what he did. And by the way, later on, he went on an actual apology tour. You know how they rip Obama, oh, apology tour, apology. No, 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 he did the apology tour. He actually went around the state and said, I was a naive kid, I didn't know what I was doing. Could you imagine, like, what a stupid defense. I didn't know that I was supposed to take political donations and not put it towards my personal shit. Are you stupid? Like, really? You didn't know that? So there you go, man. Trump kneecapped every decent thing about his rhetoric by picking this guy. Trump sometimes does great rhetoric against the Iraq war. He does great rhetoric against TPP. He does great rhetoric against money and politics. This guy's for TPP, was one of the biggest cheerleaders of the Iraq war. And obviously this is how he feels about money and politics. So it was a terrible pick from Donald Trump.